All right, so this is the first forklift that I'm going to be reviewing today. I mean, it's it's all right. Just, I'm just giving it a quick little look around here. Put myself in the driver's spot. Right. Um, yeah, it's good. The controls are on the right side here. Got the two pedals. That's it's pretty good. Although it does look very uncomfortable and also there is nothing feeling this so that is a that is a um an obvious deduction there should be a propane tank in the back shut the fuck up phone oh my god all right it's my heroin dealer um so yeah, I don't know. The overall architecture of this is very metallic and uncomfortable looking. Um, you can obviously see it's not very taken well care of. But that's obviously something that you'll see in a lot of forklifts as they are very beat up and um, kind of... They look used. So, so far you got your standards, the seat, steering wheel. Now, there should be three of these little... Um, uh, fork mechanisms here, fork lifting mechanisms, I don't know the fucking proper term, um, which I should, because I am a forklift expert, but, should be three of those, one to lift them up and down, one to lift them, or to do left and right, and then there should be one for tilting up and down. As you can see, I don't think... Yeah, this, this forklift doesn't even have tilting capabilities, which is another point deduction, but that's okay. Um, you got the chain here. That's good. That's looking good. Although, these forks would only go up to about here, whereas in real life, forks would go all the way up to, like, fuck, man, they go, go, like, that high or something. So, yeah, overall, I'd give this a... Uh, Maybe a six and a half out of ten. Yeah, that sounds good to me. You know, you just can't fucking kill this guy. What? Oh my god. Yeah, you know. 